Alright, uh, here we go. Skeevious Tips. Uh, welcome back, man. What's up, bro? Not Long time. Yeah, yeah. Nah, it's been a while, you know? I mean, this is actually like the first ever like in-person interview uh, that we did, you know? Um, I know like the last time like this was like on the like written record and all that, you know, I did like the article based on it, but this time, you know, you get to be like on the actual like YouTube page for like TOY and all that, you know? I guess like, that's gonna be like a blessing like, right there, you know? Yeah, nah, you really stepped your game up, bro, like I was saying off camera. Uh, yeah, you know, you obviously love it. Obviously, we're on your grind. It's, uh, it's impressive to see. I like to see it. It's good. Yeah, man, I definitely appreciate that. And, you know, um, it's been like, what, like three years uh, since we uh, last conversated. Um, I know that you've been doing, I know that you've been doing well, like, on the promotion type of side by promoting John, like, on, like, um, you know, like the IG like stories and all that, like for Swayze's uh, competition. Um, I know that um, you've been working with, with like a lot of artists, like a lot of artists, like lately, like in that sense, like in your own field too. And then you know, I think since 2019, I know you opened up like the Palmer Squares, like at Adelaide Hall, uh, like a while back, and then also dropped uh, two projects lately. Uh, not lately, but like since then. Um, so I want to like get into that for a bit. So you dropped uh, Dank Moody, a recent talent for our last interview. Um, what were like, the creative process like and the inspiration uh, for this project? Yeah, first of all, uh, just to clarify, I've never actually got the opening spot for the Palmer Squares. I did perform with them at Adelaide Hall and in a couple other uh, cities in Ontario, but I was just a part of their set. I didn't actually have an opening spot, which is kind of funny. That uh, It's kind of funny when I speak to artists that I know that I'm cool with and, and they can't even, they don't even have power over, over who the opener is. I've just always uh, made it a goal of mine to... Uh, have that power when I'm ever uh, bestowed that privilege, but just to clarify, um, in regards to the last two projects, we'll start with Wasted Talent. Uh, hindsight's obviously 2020. I think Wasted Talent is the better project overall. I mean, it's obviously all me. And Wasted Talent 2020 was... Uh, that was my favorite project I've ever done, probably because it was all me, it was all one sound. I shouldn't say it was all me, it definitely wasn't. We had uh, original music from Dro, DRO, uh, Beats by Dro, or Who is Dro. Uh, man goes by many names. Uh, he's a killer, killer beat maker out of Barry, I think. Um, got nothing but love for the dude. Helped make that project what it was. And then, of course, my man's Meyer Clarity came through. And we worked on that album in the studio, in like three separate studios, in our home studio when we were living together. So that was uh, a lot of a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in that project. I'm very proud of it. Um, no features on it. It's 100% uh, all the way. What 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 I was at that point in my life. So uh, I love that project. Uh, if you listen to this, go check out Wasted Talent from 2020. It's a little bit slept on. And then Dank Moody, Dank Moody was, uh, so Wasted Talent came out, Wasted Talent came out the week that COVID started. The, that, that week, that week. Like, I don't know if it's like the Friday of that week, I think they shut the world down on like a Thursday or some shit, or a Wednesday. And so I had big plans for that album. We had like some tour dates in the works for that summer. All that went down the drain, obviously. And then two years later, it's kind of hard to uh, to still, we had just got off the road, so it was easy to connect with people down in the States and, and places we went. So we were gonna do a bit of a tour for that album. And that never happened, so basically every promotional effort was out the door and, and it's, it was just uh, it was just whoever was listening that listened to it. But over the years it's got, gotten some love here and there. Um, but yeah, I love that project and, uh, and I love uh, Dro and Meyer for helping me make it. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm still very proud of it. Dank Moody is my next project that came out in Coming up on a year now, it'll be a year in a year in July or August. I think it was August it came out. I wanted to put it out before my birthday, so it must have been uh, like the, the last week of August, 2021. Uh, what we did with that project was those were a lot. Those were mostly 
songs from both Bridge Fires and uh, Wasted Talent that just didn't make the cut for either that we brought out that Meyer pulled some of them up and I dug some of them out of our vault. We were like, oh shit, these, these stood the test of time. Like, why didn't this song or that song end up on the project? And in a lot of cases, it was because, well, there's a verse missing, or I didn't, I didn't finish a part. So that's where we had the idea, or I did, to bring some features in. So I tried to assemble somewhat of a Team Canada. I wanted to get the best Canadian artists that I could possibly grasp that I thought were maybe within reach. So I reached out to Junk. Shout out to Junk. He's absolutely killing it right now. Um, and Quake Matthews, who's also absolutely killing it right now. Two artists I think are really really just Canada's best and, and sort of next up when it comes to who's who's going to be around in five years. I don't see those guys going anywhere, so shouts and much love to both them. Junk's from the West Coast, uh, Quake's from the East Coast. I can't forget to mention uh, Meyer Clarity and Boney Washington. We were, uh, we were uh, doing our no damn good thing. We were uh, you know, a force to be reckoned with, it felt like. And so I got them to hop on the last joint with me. And uh, they had just put out their project together, which is one of my favorite projects, rap projects to ever come out of Canada. It's called Tour Support. And uh, yeah, that's, that's Wasted Talent and, and Dank Moody in a nutshell for you.